All right, scrapping with Grandpa. Huh? Yeah, this is my favorite place to go, everybody. Um, this is in Leland, North Carolina. My favorite place. They give the best price, in my opinion. And uh, they're real nice people to deal with. Scrapping with Grandpa. Got us another load to the landfill. I gotta get my toolbox out of here first, though. Today. I don't see a magnet. It's so way over there. Hang up. Come on, girl. Come on, slide. I ain't got nothing holding you in there. Good about having a dump truck. Yeah, nice. Damn, can't believe somebody brought them. Aluminum rims. stuff. Look at that. Look at that wire back there. I don't know why people don't strip it. What do you say, man? Another day at the scrap yard. Another day at the scrap yard. Watch a couple of your videos. Huh? Watch a couple of your videos. Oh, thank you. You did a good job of putting them together. Thank you. Did you hit the subscribe button? Yeah, I went over my head. You, you need to hit the subscribe. Now sub. Gotcha. I gotta get that thing growing. I'm excited about it. Yeah. And uh, I let everybody know this is my favorite place too, by the way. I love this place. Out of all of them I've been to, this is where I like coming. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. We can do it without y'all. I appreciate you. Look at that, that's beautiful money right there. Free money. Free money. $153. Yeah. 
153 dollars yesterday 153 dollars today in and out make that money look at that look at there that's a scrapping world right there everybody scrapping world tell me there ain't no money in it it's a little bit of hard work a little bit of elbow grease but it's amazing uh to be able to make a little bit of money for nothing and this is my favorite place it's in leland what's the name of this road Blackwell Road. Blackwell? Yep. Blackwell Road, Leland. They pay the they pay the best price. But anyways, um, these are a few other other things that I have <coughs> that I need to take apart. It's more of that wire. This is gonna be copper wire. I burnt off the plastic, then I'm gonna melt it down into ingots. And uh, I'll be I'll be showing you. I'll be making a video of me melting this copper into uh, ingots and making it beautiful beautiful shine you'll be impressed when you see that piece of copper my uh my room my scrapping room itself is getting a little bit overwhelmed by lots of uh things that i have already taken apart that's a dell monitor that i take apart weighs of probably 120 pounds Two TVs, both of them actually work. I need to be really careful. It fell over. Both of them actually work. Both of them TVs. I'm going to scrap that old monitor. I have this for sale on Marketplace. It's some type of an amp for something. But in my little scrapping room, I got a little bit of everything. Good God. A um, little bit of everything. This is my... Here we go. This is what I'll be melting down my copper in. Got that right there. Now I'm melting my copper down in that and then make bars, which turn out pretty cool. I think my ingot bar thing is. What do I do with that thing? I'll leave up the outside again. I don't usually leave it out here, but I only have one. I'm sure it's not out here. Ugh. But anyways, uh, anyways, anyways, I got interrupted by a phone call. And I have a ton armor. I mean, I have a ton of computers to tear apart. Probably 11 or 12 or more. So all this stuff... Um, including that lawnmower that was given to me and it runs i have two more over there that were given to me that run i'm gonna i'm selling them on marketplace 100 bucks a piece and i have several things on marketplace but i take down everything i take it apart i separate it um and i get the most money out of it i can um all these wires they're going with me if they're too small to strip then I throw them in my other bucket and they still bring over a dollar a pound with all the plastic on it. So everything that I can get stuff out of, I do like the capacitors and uh, uh, any kind of motors that they have in them. I try to strip it all down. I'm even going to sell this microwave plate that I found. It's because they sell pretty good. Got some other things to strip down. This is a solid piece of aluminum. All I have to do is get that two pieces out and uh, it'll just be solid. I'll probably end up just selling that on once I get it, get it taken apart. I'll probably just end up selling it on eBay. I got this bathtub that I'm going to clean up and see if I can sell it to somebody for their yard. I got that sold already, 50 bucks. Picked it up for free. Picked up some mulch in a garbage can. But I've been doing pretty good. Scrapping wise, I'm getting quite a bit of really good stuff given to me. Oh my goodness, even some hubcaps. Hubcaps given to me um, from an old T-bird. But my pile is accumulating. Uh, some kind of weird stuff here. Got a singer. This is a side stitcher. Called the uh, lock stitch needle, blind hammer. That's what it's called. I don't have the table, but it's antique. And he told me that it works.
perfectly. I just have to get it inside. This is my lay down yard. Got the heavy scrap, been bringing most of it already. I got a big air conditioner to scrap out. Another air conditioner right there that I gotta scrap out. I got most of the goodness out of it already. Got an old nice coil right there. I need to get out from underneath all that goodness that I've got over here. Um, got another piece that I gotta take apart and get all that goodness out of before I scrap it. This is just for the scrap, the junk. I don't, I tear everything down. This is my aluminum pile. This is part of my tear down pile. I just haven't made it over to the, the, the spot yet. These are a couple Jeep tires I'm gonna bring down to the shop and have them take the tire itself off because I'm gonna scrap them. This is an aluminum hood, solid aluminum hood off of a Dodge, I guess. Uh, pretty heavy, so aluminum pile. And then over here, I have my tear down pile. Refrigerators, fans, microwaves, TVs, computers, other motor type things, some more TVs, some type of a copier. Not sure what this is, some type of a, not sure. Oh, no, not that, this. Where's that other piece? Yeah, that right there weighs about 200 pounds. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but when I get it flipped over and start tearing it apart, I'll be making a video of it. Um, I've got nine TVs, flat screens right there, stacked up on the flat. Barrel number one, 1. 1.5 millimeters. I'm not sure how small that is. Some of this won't get wire uh, stripped, but this is a pretty big, big barrel. It's up to my waist. Um, have some more in there. A little bit more in there. I got some more, a little bit more in there. Not much, that's mostly just stuff I have to go through. Then I have this beautiful, another barrel that I will be stripping. And some people don't strip this because it's not like the hard number one stuff. The reason why I strip it is because I do have some of that, a lot of it actually. Um, but it's so pretty bright. I'm gonna make um, copper bars with it. I have a crucible and I'll be making bars and selling them on eBay. So you'll be watching me, look at this. This thing is full of the heavy number one stuff. This whole bucket, besides what's on top, is all that. I just have to take the wire out of it. All right, all right, all right, everybody. I am so excited. I just got something that I have been waiting for. And just about the time I get ready to open it, put it on camera, I notice that my video is about to die. Something that is efficient for stripping wire. And I was looking at the reviews of this online. I thought they were pretty decent. So I decided to buy it. And here we go. Here it is. The unveiling. 
strapping with Grandpa, we're going to be stripping some wire. Boy, this thing smells brand new. Look at this. I call this, I call this wire stripping machine. This machine is easily to use, portable, energy saving, and good looks. Just like the normal stripping machine usage, wire. 1.5 millimeter to 25 millimeters. That is wire range. That's uh, 25 millimeters, that's pretty good size wire. And that's actually pretty small. 1.5 millimeter. I have to find out what that is. But in the meantime, can't believe it. And I'm so super excited uh, that I got this. And I will be hooking it up to my brand new bench that I built today. So I built this bench today. Hello. Oh, you didn't hear that, did you? Talking shit. But uh, yeah, got me a brand new bench today. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's open this bad boy. Oh. See what we gotta do to mount it to my table. Look at you. You are beautimous. Kind of getting excited right now. Oh my word, this thing is massive. Look at there. I got it. Take this thing off of here. I got it. Wire stripping machine. I am so freaking excited about this thing. It's not even funny. Can't wait to go through the instructions and figure out how this thing goes. So be watching my videos because I have a lot of wire to strip.